long time since I've made a video. I haven't had a lot of time to make one. It's been super busy, stressful. So I'm finally getting around to make one. Also, my school closed because of COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And we're doing online schooling now. So I'll probably get some vlogs about that, about like my morning routine with the COVID-19 situation. Also, I'll have a lot more time to make videos. Also, I got some things that I think will really help the channel for Christmas. A microphone. I got AirPods for editing. If you don't know what this is, this is a gimbal, and pretty much when you're vlogging, when you hold the camera, it steadies everything. I am getting a new camera soon though, so that's good. The reason why I'm making this video is because my sister and I got a hamster, and that's really exciting. Her name is Daisy, maybe three or four months old hamster, and I wanna show you her cage, who she is, you're gonna expect more videos, and we're gonna make her her very own YouTube channel, so you should go follow them. right behind me is the hamster's cage um it's in the basement because upstairs it would be too loud and this is where we have the space for it you can see there are currently a lot of toys highs and shoes in there right now but it's really good to like maybe every month or so switch out the toys and hides so she doesn't get bored so these are this month's section of toys For food we use higgins sunburst mix we also got her these herbs it's the sun salad herbs they're pretty good she really likes them on these two bottom shelves, we cleared out space to keep her bedding, more toys, food, things like that. Start the cage is a bin cage. It's 500 square inches, and it's got a top that we drilled holes in, and then if you can see, like, it down into it, it's got this chicken wire on it, so that way she can chew out. She has done that, as you can see before, coming out, and she escaped, so we put the chicken wire on the bottom. So I'm planning on giving you guys a little, like, cage tour. If you didn't know, hamsters are nocturnal slash crepuscular, meaning that they come out in the night, early evenings, like, no, like, late evenings and early mornings to come and play, and right now she's sleeping, so I can't take her out, but later tonight, when she is awake, I'll film that and then show you guys. Okay, so now for the cage tour. Bottom section has just a little bit of bedding. It's kind of like her play section. And in here, got her sand bath, which is just like a cake tin. A little ladder going up to it, onto this view of this. This hide, this, these veggies. And then this is actually a teeter totter, like this. But we converted it into a little bridge onto this grassy hide. Come look on this side, we have this barrier where she has a lot more bedding a really cool feature that we added to this was this tunnel going through the wall so through this little tunnel right here that goes right through the wall the tunnel actually goes right underneath this wooden into a burrowing system which is really cool she seems to really like it and since she is a smaller Syrian she can fit underneath it up here is where she has her food and water dishes she has a little bendy bridge and then this dumbbell chew toy Timothy head and no this is not the same as herbs like you can't substitute this for herbs because the reason why I'd have hay is because this is what holds up their burrows it stabilizes them salad um, herbs mix herbs are really good for hamsters because they are foraging animals and they're beneficial to different types of their health vitamins and also it's fun for them because if they're gonna get bored this is this little plastic carrier um, pretty much it's this little carrying case this is, by the way, not suitable for an actual hamster to live in. This, uh, the minimum for a hamster is 450 square inches of floor space, and this is like 10. Not okay. It's like a travel case. So if you have to go to the vet, if you're bringing them home, this is something that you'd put them in. Next product. This kind of counting in like the same like realm as this one because it's also toys. This was like the KT puzzle piece set, I think. And it came with these little wooden apple chews, and it also came with these. Um, these are like loofah chews. They're like these little, they're like these little loofahs that they just kind of chew on. A little toy set I got from Amazon from Jan Yu. I'm not saying that right. I know that for a fact. But pretty much it came with all of these little wooden toys. First it had that, um, it had the hoop, the, the swing, the ladder for the sand bath. I mean, it came with a bunch of really cool things and it was a great purchase. It was only $20 and you got like, I think 11 things in the set. The bag just broke. <laughs> like I'm advertising how like, by the way, they're not sponsored by the way, but like I'm trying to like advertise how like 
nice this is and like I try to zipper it closed and like this like bag broke I mean like the toys are really high quality like this is like not breakable this is great but like maybe you don't count on the bag so much well, a lot later in the day I took a shower I don't have my microphone on anymore and she's awake